Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So Halloween's coming up. Halloween is in a couple days. It's Sunday, it's on Tuesday. And check this out. I have the um, original Stormtrooper full armor set. I bought the kit from Andy Ainsworth himself in the UK. Um, this is the kit, this is the helmet of it, the full kit. Let me just pan over here to this <laughs> really messy house. You see the Stormtrooper over there uh, in the corner there. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's kind of just on a PVC um, statue. But anyway, today is gonna to be all about installing this um, amplifier kit in the helmet. I wanted to upgrade this. It's just the basic helmet. There's nothing inside. There's no sound system inside. You can see there in the bottom. I just went ahead and put in like a hard hat. Um, little bracket in there to hold it on my head a little better. But I got this amplification system. I wanted to share this with you guys. It's basically a mic system where the the sound actually comes out of the Hovey tips. You replace the ones that come with the original kit. This kit here is actually from a member of the 501st uh, unit. You know, there's there's a basically a following for for uh, stormtrooper guys costumes, and uh, this guy here, his name is UK's UK's Wrath, is his call sign, and his name is Anthony Job, and I guess he's part of the club here with the um, the 501st unit that go around the U.S. and all over the world, I guess, and do their um, performances and uh, their trooping stunts but anyway he sent me this he makes this and it's a whole kit it's got the amplifier it's got the microphones that come out of the Hobie tips like I was saying it's got the icom set where it's pretty cool when you talk it puts in those little voice clicks and it makes it sound really authentic and you can also input your own sound if you wanted to like play music with it um, over here is going to be all the cabling and this specialty mic included in the box here. Here's the amplifier and all this stuff. I guess this is the stuff that he uses when he does his trooping in his costume. So I figure, you know, if I want it to sound really authentic, I already spent the money, you know, a few years back on buying this super authentic um, whole stormtrooper costume. I might as well put in a little bit extra money and make it as authentic as possible. He has another kit and this is the sound kit where you put these mics out where your ears are because it's kind of hard to hear in the helmet. So you drill little holes in your helmet and um, you put these mics where your ears would be or anywhere around the helmet and it actually amplifies the sound and brings it into these speakers you put um, against your ears in the helmet next to your ears so it's going to amplify that sound because it sounds really muffled when you're in the helmet and you can't really hear what's going on around outside of you. Another peripheral I got, this was from Etsy I believe, um, this is from Henry's Helmet uh, Fans. This looked like one of the best kits on the net. Now what these things do is you just basically, it gets really hot in your helmet when you're trooping and you have all this equipment on and so these things just mount inside. Um, you put a little LiPo battery or whatever, mount it up and plug it in and it's got some cabling and some switches so you can turn on for extra cooling. I'm not sure how much of the installation I'm gonna show. I'm gonna go through tidbits, pop in and out and show you what I've done and how each thing works. Um, and just, you know, the basically the important parts of the installation. So, and then when it's all done, we'll go ahead and test it out and see how it performs. So let's get started. Okay, so it does come with a step-by-step -step instruction sheet here. So I'm just going to follow this along. And the first thing I need to do is take off my original Hovey tips and make room and mount the Hovey tips with the speakers inside. So I'm just going to attempt to kind of break these off since they're on with some super glue. There we go. Pretty easy. So I'm going to have to just be drilling a hole in here and uh, replacing these guys. Glue from the old ones gives me a good little template on where to drill. Okay, so really easy since these already have uh, JST connectors on them. You just need to drill the hole 
big enough just to squeeze the JST connectors on there unless you are going to want to take those off. But it's got this little uh, post mount, this little bolt post mount here, and that post mount is going to screw in. And they also come with these little plastic nuts, and that's how you're going to hold them on. So really simple, just pop the Hovey tips in through the holes we just drilled, and they go on just like that. Just wanted to give you guys kind of an inside look at the helmet and on what's going on here. So unscrew this little plastic nut there and just inserting the JST connector and the wire, and pushing in the post there. And then, yeah, they make it, he makes it really simple. Just slide over the nut, screw it on to the existing uh, post. And these are actually really nice and tight. They actually sit in there solid. So you don't even need glue. Of course you might, you could put a little dab of something on there like E600 glue in there if you wanted to, but just finger tightening these things. Look at that. So that's both of them on and they feel real durable. Like they're not gonna pop off. So no need glue on these. They're perfectly solid and in there and they look, they look pretty good, pretty authentic like the originals. And all we're doing is connecting these here. So connecting up the mic tips, both of them like this, slide them in nice and tight. And the other end of them go into the amplifier here. And we're gonna connect it right into, he has these nicely labeled, uh, so no question about it. These are gonna connect right into the speaker port. Let's say uh, just go ahead and in Stall, find this cable here. It's just a 3.5 millimeter extension cable, plug to plug, and put it into the output port of the icon box, and put that into the mic port of the amplifier, just like so. Of course, this is gonna be all interesting mounting this stuff in the helmet, but um, that's the way that goes. And then it's saying to get the microphone, the actual, microphone you talk into, which is this one here. And you're gonna install this one into the mic of the icon, ICOM box, just like this. Cool. Okay guys, so let's try this out now that we have everything, basically all the wiring connected for the helmet. So mic to icon box to amplifier to speakers. So everything's hooked up. Let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm just gonna speak into the mic here and see how it sounds before we start putting stuff in. Test one, two, over. Wow, so it's it's basically including that mic click and that's what's so cool about this icon box is when I talk, test check over. So did you hear that? So it inputs the um, authentic sounds of mic clicking and static and stuff in the radio. And it does basically a random run through of each one if I do another one the Death Star plans are not in the main computer. So you see how it does random stuff? Look sir, droids. Awesome, so this is, <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. And that's just about full blast on the, the microphone and the speakers. And you can see how I'm talking here and I'm holding the mic away from my face and it's not picking me up. So you have to have this right up against your lips, uh, this little mic, foam mic here for it to work. Just realized that my camera mic wasn't facing the helmet. So let me face the camera mic to the helmet. Turn this thing on again so you can hear how this sounds. Look sir, droids. The Death Star plans are not in the main computer. 10-4. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Move along, move along. Another feature in the box is this uh, push to talk button here. It's just kind of shrink wrapped in um, some shrink wrap here to keep it a little bit more waterproof and sweat proof and to stick it in your hand somewhere. So instead of it picking up and automatically starting to output and amplify your voice, you can also just plug this into the P PTT port on the icon, icon box here and push this to activate it. So let's try that. So I have that hooked up, I'm gonna turn back on the amp and let's see if when I talk into, check one, two. Yeah, so this mic is not picking up now. And let's see when I push this and talk. 10 four, over. So nothing's happening. I'm not getting any click until I let this button off. 
So if say you're in a noisy area or something, um, whatever it may be, and you need that manual control, you go ahead and push this and it won't make the clicks until you let it off. 10 four over. So right when you take off your finger, check one, two, it makes that um, automatic voice static click. Pretty cool. Okay guys, and the cool feature about this one is you have the auxiliary input. So just went ahead and plugged in a two-way 3.5 jack. One's going into the auxiliary and one's going into my phone. You could use any device for this. Right now I have the TK chatter on, Stormtrooper 501st costume loops for backdrop soundscapes. With this one here, it kind of like leaves space in between. So it's kind of authentic like radio chatter. So kind of cool. So you can talk. So there's one right there. So it's just a long loop. Um, how long is this? It's like 43 minutes and you can download the uh, MP3 file and put it on like a little MP3 player and have it on you if you wanted to or just play the YouTube video here on your phone while you're trooping. So pretty cool, lots of authentic stuff going on here. Really excited to get this thing on and going. Well guys, so that literally took me almost about five hours to complete. So I spent most of the part of the day doing this, um, but it all looks good. There's the mic tips all mounted up on the front. And let me just turn this over and show you how I mounted everything inside. Now, there's a few other things I can do to kind of clean this up. Right now it's just really duct taped out just to kind of mount everything. And you can kind of see where I mounted all the wire. I just kind of ran the wire near the bottom of the neck piece and then just basically duct taped it all up. Got one fan kind of blowing in from the back up, up towards the top of my head here um, on the side. And then I have the other fan here mounted up. These are really good fans, by the way. They're really easy to mount. The wiring was really great. So props to Henry's Helmets fans for doing such a good job on the quality of these things. And then I just mount mounted this one using the um, existing double-sided sticky tape Velcro to kind of blow towards my eye pieces here, the eye film, because when you're kind of trooping and it's really hot, just testing it, I kind of fog these things up. So this is perfect with this thing on. Um, it doesn't even fog up even when you get really hot and are in there for a while as you can see It's getting pretty crowded in here. I have the icom icom unit which um, Places that static click at the end of when you talk right here. I have the whole amp System right here, and this is a really good system It's got the you know off and on capability here as you can see I left a little bit of slack in the wire So I can just kind of unplug and plug as I need on the sides and stuff I did try it with the auxiliary in and it was really cool when I had the helmet on too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little like iPod shuffle in here mounted up, just playing that um, uh, Stormtrooper chatter in a loop on here while I talk. And the cool thing about it is I could actually not have to use that PTT button we talked about um, that you plug in here for manual uh, mic control. I could just kind of let it go and then it was really good at picking up my voice and letting me talk through that um, Stormtrooper chatter loop. So that worked out really well. The only thing also for the fans was you need to have some kind of external power supply. And so I have this power bank. It's got two USB slots on the front and there was really no other place for me to put it except for right here in the front of the face. And it actually, I can feel my face slightly resting on it, but it actually does a really good job right here. It's kind of the only place I could figure out where to put it. I just kind of have the mic mounted up here. You can see it right here, right where it's going to be touching the bottom of my lip and facing into my mouth. And that works really, really well. And then for the fans to work, um, they do come with that momentary switch or that on off switch right here. So I mounted it right in here, easy to access with my hand right up in the top. Um, in the bottom of where the chin area is. So I can just press that. And there's the fans. Let me put it on the mic here so you can hear what the fan sounds like inside. So this would be right inside the helmet. And so you guys are gonna know how it sounds with two fans running right there. That's exactly how it sounds. I'm not gonna be able to put it on the camera so you know how it 
is going to look, but you can see the eyepieces are green. And this is all movie accurate stuff too, so that's why those eyepieces are green. So it looks a little interesting when you have it on and you're looking out. But anyway, you guys, that's just about it. It sounds really good. Let me slap it on my head and so you guys can um, kind of see and hear how this finished product sounds. Okay guys, so I got the helmet here and sorry about the mess in the background. It's just Halloween and we got stuff everywhere. Halloween's in a couple of days and we're just get, kind of getting ready. And Anyway, um, here's the helmet. So this is with everything installed I just show you and here's how I'm gonna put it on. You gotta put it on kind of sideways and then turn it forward for it to kind of fit. Probably because I have such a large head, but here it goes. And also we'll turn it on. So turning on this little comm unit, you can actually reach behind your head and feel it and turn it on too. You can feel that roller. So I'm gonna turn that on. We'll go all the way full blast just to see if there's any feedback. And here's how you put it on. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's how you put on the helmet. You can see how I had to kind of turn it and then put it on my head, but everything's feeling really good. And you can feel that, you can hear that ICOM unit. After I talk each time, that ICOM unit puts off a static burst. So it's sounding really good. And it's gonna sound even better when I do put that little iPod shuffle, I'm just gonna put it in right next to the ICOM unit and where the input is, or actually the amp. And that uh, chatter will be going while I'm trooping and talking. So that's gonna be really cool. And the fans, have, there's a little bit of fan noise, like how I showed you on the, uh, on the microphone there. And the reason why it sounds so distorted is because I have the thing so close to my mouth. So if I was to kind of work the mic around a little bit, it wouldn't be quite as uh, loud and raspy. But the fans feel real good. I can feel that one fan blowing in front of my goggles here in the front. So guaranteed that's not going to have any, any fogging problems. And then the other one I can feel it going up and over my head and it's feeling really cool. So huge difference from, from not having a fan to having two fans is just amazing. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to touch on, uh, I actually did not put in the assisted hearing mics and uh, the headphone speakers inside. Just because I didn't have quite enough time to install those today. Uh, I might put them in before Halloween, maybe not. Uh, if I do, if I can find some space for that amplifier for them, um, I'll definitely probably putting, be putting in earplugs in my ears just because inside the helmet it's so noisy with the fans and the, the speakers now right here that um, it might be kind of cool to just have uh, sound canceling headphones in. So you, you can just be quiet and you can just kind of hear what's going on outside. So I'll probably be doing that. The guy that's in the 5 volt first and he's a trooper, he's using it. And so it's got to be good. And uh, it looks good and it feels good and it sounds good. So anyways, happy Halloween. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'm going to be wearing that guy back there for Halloween. So if you're up in the Maui Pukulani area, check me out. I'll have this set up on. Say hi and get a picture or something. Aloha. Look, sir. Droids. Those aren't the droids we're looking for. Move along. Move along. The desktop plans are not in the main computer.